Hi everyone. So we actually get a lot of questions from people who don't have celiac or gluten sensitivity and they're looking to host someone with celiac at their house safely. We will be going over how to host someone with celiac during the holidays. We know these meals are a little bit different, so here are a few tips to help you out. The first step that we always recommend, and it's the most important, is open communication. So before your guest arrives, have a conversation with them and just see maybe what they do when they travel, what steps that they take, what steps do they want you to take. Um, it really just helps to start the conversation with them. Always have tinfoil on hand. So personally, I have celiac disease and when I travel to Airbnbs or friends or family's houses for vacation, I at some point during the trip always end up using tin foil. So this just helps whether it's in a toaster oven or real oven, um, it helps avoid the cross contact. Ask them their favorite brands. Uh, there's so many gluten-free brands out there nowadays, which is awesome, but it can be a little overwhelming at points to figure out like which brands they like and Speaking from experience, everyone has their own favorite brand, whether it's for bread or cookies or something like that. So ask them what their favorites are. Ask them if there's any meals or foods that they would like to avoid. So depending on their level of comfort, it might just be less stress for them to avoid certain meals. So just ask them ahead of time so they're not stressed when they get there just an overall best practice when you're cooking for someone with celiac is to make sure your pots and pans are not damaged and make sure they're cleaned really well before you prepare any food in it. If it's a potluck style, ask them if there's any dishes that they're willing to bring so that they know that it's safe to eat. However, as someone with celiac, I know that you don't always want to bring your food everywhere. So here are a few more tips if you're um, hosting someone and you will be cooking all of the food. Really be cautious of cross contact. So if you're having a turkey for the holidays, either use gluten-free stuffing inside it or have a separate turkey that you're not using stuffing. For example, if someone has celiac and you stuff the turkey with gluten stuffing, uh, that person can no longer eat that because of the cross contact. I'd also be cautious of any other communal food that um, you'll have during the meal. And you never know nowadays with the different injections, brinings, flavors, uh, instant foods, you never know it has gluten. So just give the labels an extra read through. Be careful of what's sharing the plate. So if you're having appetizers, uh, for example, crackers and cheese, uh, maybe have a few different plates that if people want gluten crackers, that they will not be on the same plate as the cheese. Just keep it all separate. Same goes for dips. Be mindful of what people are dipping into um, the container and maybe just put a separate bowl aside for the gluten-free dipping. It's never a bad idea to have little gluten-free labels so that they don't get confused and accidentally have someone dipping uh, gluten crackers in there. Have a separate serving utensil for each dish. So maybe let all the guests know that each utensil, keep it with that food, um, then you don't run the risk of people using it with gluten and then putting it back and you'll avoid that cross contact. What works best for one group or one person might not work for everyone, so just remember that open communication to figure out uh, what will work for your party. Personally, in the past, um, I've just made an announcement when we get there or the host could make an announcement um, that there's someone with celiac here and people need to be mindful of what has gluten, what doesn't have gluten to avoid that cross contact. Um, but that doesn't work for everyone. So if you don't wanna make that announcement, maybe if you're the host, pull the person with celiac aside and let them know that they can serve their food before everyone else. That way they mitigate the risk of that cross contact and it just makes them feel more safe and comfortable while serving their food. So that's it for today. Uh, let us know if you have any more questions.